aggressive policies. The United States is engaged in a tit for tat with China over trade, and at least for now, consumers are starting to feel more of a pinch for some of their favorite items. Our Jivan Vital reports from Washington. We're having a little squabble with China because we've been treated very unfairly for many, many decades. A tit for tat that's costing both sides billions and soon it'll cost consumers. I think it's going to turn out extremely well. We're in a very strong position. Trade tensions between the U.S. and China have always been a concern, but under the Trump administration, they've reached new heights. The two world powers have been in talks over a number of topics, including the trade deficit, intellectual property rights, anti-competitive business tactics, and hacking. For much of the year, it appeared talks were going well, but as of this week, escalation when the president raised tariffs to 25% on $200 billion worth of Chinese imports on Friday. That means common items such as clothing, cell phones, and other electronics, even tea, will cost you more if it's coming from the other side of the Pacific. Now, what is a tariff? You know, a tariff is a tax. Professor Charlie Scuba is senior associate dean at Georgetown University's McDonough School of Business. I think in the long run, both sides want a deal. The question is, is what does each give up that they would prefer not to give up? But it's not just consumers getting pinched. Farmers and other industries are feeling more heat after China retaliated by hiking its own tariffs on $60 billion worth of U.S. goods, such as soybeans, natural gas, and tools. On Wall Street, the Dow recovered somewhat from Monday's historic 617-point drop to close about 200 points above yesterday. Meanwhile, no breakthroughs are expected soon, but experts warn when a trade war is prolonged, everyone loses. Get over this, get a deal on the table, get something that both sides can agree with so that we can move forward for the benefit of both nations. Reporting in Washington.